for complex um, systems. So you're saying that there are no irreducibly complex systems. Um, let me give you the definition of irreducibly complex. Um, the website that I'm quoting can be found up there in my more info box for this video. So here it goes. Um, they call it William Dembski's enhanced definition. And so it goes like this, quote, a system performing a given basic function is irreducibly complex if it includes a set of well-matched, mutually interacting, non-arbitrarily individuated parts such that each part in the set is indispensable to maintaining the system's basic and therefore original function. The set of these indispensable parts is known as the irreducible core of the system. Okay, so I think that's pretty explicit. So using that definition, we can conclude that something is irreducibly complex or it is not irreducibly complex. There's no gray area. So, uh, and it also has nothing to do with natural mechanisms, as you can see from the definition. So here we go. Um, let me give you an example. How about DNA replication? Well, DNA replication needs a variety of proteins. It, the DNA needs to code for specific proteins that go on to make the mechanisms that actually replicate the DNA. Without any one of those proteins, the DNA can't replicate. So we have an irreducibly complex system, DNA replication. Now you could argue that each of the parts, each of the proteins, was naturally selected for, you know, you know, for different functions before, you know, they all came together and then started replicating the DNA, but then you run into the problem that, well, you need DNA replication for natural selection to work. So you need them all there right away. And so we have a irreducibly complex system, according to that definition. Okay, so on to your next clip. So what happens when a non-biologist try to explain things in biology? They fail. They will no doubt fail. And this is why on page 85 completely fails in his arguments. First, he talks about DNA replication proteins that are enzymes. An enzyme is a, a protein molecule produced by a living organism that catalyzes chemical reactions. What this means is that they make a chemical reaction happen faster. The chemical reaction can happen without these enzymes. Now, a human being needs DNA replication proteins but that is because we have 3 billion years of evolution to produce this complex living organism known as a human and even bacteria today needs DNA replication proteins but having said that that the origin of life does not need these DNA replication proteins DNA is capable of replicating on its own without these enzymes but it is a very slow process that could only be applied to much simpler organisms and shorter DNA strings. Let me explain this in a, on a high school level. Let's say you have a chemical reaction where you have a molecule A that reacts with chemical B and produces a product C. The time for this we can say time equals x like one millisecond or something like that. Then if we use an enzyme we will speed up this process. That the time when using an enzyme will be this much faster than without using the enzyme. So you see that the enzyme is not necessary for the chemical process, it only speeds up the chemical process. Well, how, how do we know that um, DNA strands can replicate without these enzymes? Well, <laughs> we look at the evidence. In uh, May 19th, 1994, uh, an article was published in Nature. This is a different um, front page of Nature. I can find the uh, actually one from uh, 1994 and there's an article there about how uh, strands of uh, oligonucleotides can replicate in the absence of DNA replication enzymes 
so if you want I can give you the link and you can look up the evidence yourself let me know if you want to but uh, every biologist know that the DNA can replicate itself it's a very painfully slow process uh, compared with how fast the re enzymes reactions are but the origin of life would have no problem replicating itself and um, today's organisms use DNA replication enzymes to speed up this process which is necessary for uh, these complex organisms remember the, the simple bacteria we have today still have three billion years of evolution behind them so the preset um, the earliest forms of single cell organisms were totally capable of self DNA replication no question this is why intelligent design is not a scientific theory you don't have any evidence